Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a 40th anniversary vet. 1993, ruby red, looking sweet. This car has got just a little under 15,000 original miles on it. You can see up front here on the nose, look at that paint. You can see the reflections in the paint. It is absolutely beautiful. Definitely well kept throughout the years. I mean, that's a lot of years for this thing to still look that good and have that low of mileage on it. She is gorgeous. One of the cool things about these vets, this thing looks like it's fast sitting still. Look at those wheels. I have always loved those wheels. They kind of look like a turbine on a jet plane, man. Very, very cool. And look at the condition and how they shine. I mean, those wheels have got some age on them, baby, and they still look like they're brand new. Now look inside the hair. You can tell that the interior, no wear on that interior whatsoever. It's got the six speed in it. Maybe just a tiny bit of wear right there. That's all I see on the seats just look like they're brand new. Of course, all the rest of the stuff in there also looks nice and clean. Very cool car right here, guys. 1993, less than 15,000 miles. Somebody loved this car, kept it in their garage, probably kept it covered up. As the car comes around here, you can see down the uh, passenger side, straight as an arrow. No major door dings, no scratches. She is gorgeous. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. That means we own every one of our cars. So we spend the time to check them out before we buy them. And then when they get here, we check them out even further. We get them up on the lift and inspect them take pictures, do video at the bottom, so you know exactly what your dream's gonna look like when we park it in your driveway. So give Tom a call at 248-974-9513. He'll tell you all about this car. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell button so we can send you a notification whenever we get a new car in. All right, guys, let's take this sweet little 93 vet for a ride. 40th anniversary package. Um, it's got the uh, LT1 six speed manual trans. Uh, pretty rare, rare birds. Uh, this one only has um, 14,800, call it 15,000 or 14,900 miles on it. Um, runs like the day it came out of the factory. Handles awesome. Uh, we go through the cars. Make sure they don't need anything before we market them. And uh, remember, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're non-consignment. We own each and every one of our vehicles. That's why our in inventory is such high standards because we actually write a check for them. We bring them in, we go through them. We put them on the hoist, we take the wheels off, checks, brakes, suspension, leaks, uh, gauges, all that stuff. And uh, that's what we do with them, even the newer ones like this. This one drives absolutely awesome. Be a great addition to any Corvette collection. Um, always sought after. And remember, we can always help you with transportation as well as financing. You can also come in and visit our showroom. We're located a half hour north of Detroit Metro Airport. Come on in and pay us a visit check out all our inventory. We're always looking for high quality muscle cars. So if you know somebody selling, feel free to pass our number on to them. If we buy their car, we're gonna be writing you a check. That ain't a bad deal. Go to a car show and make a few bucks. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this car inside 
we're going to get it up on the hoist and Kermit's going to show you the underside um, what to look for you know make sure everything's good before you buy a car like this this is our showroom here in Plymouth Michigan Vanguard Motor Sales my name is Tom you can reach me at seven days a week at 248-974-9513 give me a call and would love to help you tell you how you can park this dream in your driveway. All right, guys, this is the underside of our vet here. Unfortunately, Greg had to take a step out of the shop here, so I'm gonna finish this uh, video up with you guys. So, of course, this vehicle's got like, I think less than 15, uh, yeah, less than 15,000 miles on it. So uh, everything you're gonna see under here is pretty much factory original type stuff. Um, so the underside of our spare tire cover here, and uh, you can see our spare tire is up inside of here. I actually had it out of there myself. Uh, seeing the jack and the lug wrench equipment, it's all still up there, uh, even in like its factory little bag that it came with. Um, as far as your rear suspension goes, of course, it's all original type stuff. The gear ratio in this one is 3.45 to 1. Um, of course, we did stick a camera up on the top of there of the, uh, the differential. Of course, the date codes all line up with the build date of the car, and uh, the gear ratio is all correct with like a little code that they stamped on the top of it. Um, I learned a little bit about uh, Corvettes when I was trying to figure all this stuff out, but that all seems to match up just fine with it. Um, of course, uh, we have shook the rear suspension down, everything seemed nice and tight on it. Uh, exhaust system was all factory original for the car. Um, same thing like brake lines and all that stuff, it's all, once again, all original stuff. All the factory hangers, all the lines over here for the uh, fuel system as well. Uh, floorboards look all original to the car. Of course, uh, it being a fiberglass car, you don't have to really so much worry about rust or anything like that, but there's no... Uh, cracks or anything like that, anything that has uh, gone on, no damage or anything like that. Uh, all of your brake and fuel lines, I think this is all brake lines if I'm not mistaken, all running on this side of the car here, all are in wonderful shape. Um, now for transmissions, this is going to be like a ZF, uh, oh man, I think it's like S6 if I'm not mistaken, six speed manual transmission. Uh, the date codes all line up. I could not find a VIN stamp on this trans, but uh, all the dates line up with the build date of the car, so no big surprise there. Um, uh, of course, hydraulic clutch on it. Everything looks nice there. It looks to be all original stuff. Original cats on it as well. Um, even got like their factory part numbers on it. Sticker still on the side of the oil pan. Uh, fresh oil filter on it. Moving forward of all of this. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a power steering cooler. Um, looks like all the bushings for the front end are in really good shape as well. Once again, low miles car. Not a big surprise. I'm seeing uh, part numbers still stamped over here in the frame. I mean, uh, overall, very, very nice. It was very well kept. It was obviously garage kept. Uh, a lot of the time when uh, cars aren't stored properly, they don't look this nice, uh, regardless of the miles. So as far as wheels and tires go, uh, 25545ZR17s, I believe these are the original tires for the car. So that being said, if you were to uh, just have this car as like a collector's item kind of a type thing, these will be perfectly fine. If you want to cruise it around the block, these will be perfectly fine. If you're going to go for any long road trips or plan on really putting miles on this car, I might recommend changing them. But they're, uh, they're kind of cool to see the original tires on the car, uh, which is why we left them. So uh, coming on to the back, once again, I believe to be the original wheels and tires back here as well, 285-40ZR17s, uh, Eagle GSCs, Goodyear's. Um, once again, disc brakes on all four corners. I mean, overall, pretty darn, pretty darn nice shape. So, that all being said, let's go take a look at the numbers matching motor under the hood. All right, guys, this is exactly what you would expect to see on a low miles car. It doesn't look like anything's been monkeyed with, doesn't look like anything's been changed, um, which is exactly how we like to find them. So, uh, the engine is going to be just like the LT1s, which is exactly what these cars came with. 300 uh, horsepower, 345 foot-pounds of torque. Now, I actually did sneak a camera back underneath all these hoses and I actually found the VIN number and it matches and all the codes match and this is the real deal here. Um, outside of all that, just as far as cleanliness goes, it looks really, really nice. It doesn't look like anything's really deteriorated. I don't see any real surface rust on anything. Uh, the only real complaint I have is just, you know, a little bit of surface, t like uh, tarnish, I guess you would even call it, just on some of the aluminum here. But overall, it's looking pretty darn nice. All the stickers are still in uh, great shape on it, even like the underhood. Uh, under hood lights all work. You've still got your Mobile One sticker over there. Overall, pretty darn nice on this one. So, that all being said, guys, give Tom a call at the number below, and we'll see you in the next one.